please raise your placard if you've read and approved the minutes. Lock the elbow. Hello everyone. So thank you for having me at your GB. My name is Maggie and I'm representing Spartan as part of our campus outreach committee. So who we are, we're a student philanthropy group that raises money and awareness for Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. Was anyone born there by chance? No, okay, well, <laughs> but we're right across the street from Rainbow Babies, in case you haven't noticed. Um, so our main fundraising event during the spring semester is Dance Marathon, which will happen on February 7th from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Wait, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. in a Delbert gym. So, uh, my name is Jasmine Kirkland, and I'm the Vice President of Ebony Ball. This year will be our 41st anniversary of Ebony Ball, which is a celebration of the African American culture on campus. And it's to promote a belonging in our community. Um, this year will be December 6th at the City Center on Mayfield Road. So COC is working on this event that's called Almost Home for the Holidays. So for this event, we want to celebrate the holiday festivities and everything associated with it. So, at this event, we're going to celebrate a variety of holiday traditions, cultures, beliefs, and at the same time, have some good food and some fun activities. Uh, hi, my name is Mary Guardio. I am the recognition chairman of the Student Leadership Journey Council. Uh, and I'm Frida. I'm just a member. Uh, we are a department, er, we are a department brand through the Office of Student Activities and Leadership, and on December 6th, as well, uh, we are hosting a Spartan Leadership Pageant, which we is open to the entire campus. Uh, we will be having food, um, drinks, entertainment, and uh, we will be asking people, you know, various leaders throughout the campus to apply to put on, um, you know, pageant style. They'll put on presentation of their organization and also why they are a great um, leader on campus. Okay, so as you guys know, these lovely folks and I and Victoria and Noah and a couple other people went to the Kakur Conference. We are here to tell you a little bit about our experience, uh, the programs that they went to, some of the things we did in the boardroom. Um, that's what we're going to do. Evie and I went to boardroom. It's kind of just like this and with about the same number of people, I'm not going to lie. Um, I presented a piece of legislation that I wrote, and it passed. I was really nervous it wasn't going to, but no one had any questions, so that was cool. Um, so you get to pick which programs you go to, and I picked mine that were mostly focused on upperclassmen, students, sorry, anyone else, this doesn't really tell you. Uh, but this is the one that was most relevant to RHA as a whole, um, and it's a big problem <coughs> up right now. Right now. Um, but LaSalle University had two, they have RS Day, as a student association. Uh, but they presented a program called Respect Our Community, Respect Our Home. Um, but they had a big community standards uh, campus issue with off-campus students. Other different student organizations, faculty, staff, community members, in two weeks, planned this giant community standards event um, and then implemented it. So by the start of the third week, they had a week-long program that was just raising awareness about um, standards in your community, how you behave, how you should behave. Uh, Hi, I went to a program called Use and Decorations and Themes to Build Community. Uh, this actually touched a little bit on what uh, Megan went on. Is, uh, so this presentation was brought by a few RAs who, uh, you know, at their schools they really don't have any community themes, uh, much like second year housing, upper class and housing does. So what they did was they tried to figure out new ways of gaining participation and basically, they kind of did what RAs do as far as do you know monthly things, but they really took it to a higher extent. Uh, they actually went through and did uh, weekly door decorations. Uh, they actually put uh, several different uh, billboards throughout the campus. I'm retired, but anyways, I did went to lights, camera, action, which is like basically about uh, different leadership styles. And so I guess there are three big ones on here. But if anyone's seen Mean Girls. Yeah, <laughs> so we talked about Regina George, and so there's some, we all understand that she's kind of like a dictator, uh, and obviously then Katie, at least she gets considered, uh, at least during this presentation, as like servant leadership, where she will give up, like, when she wins the crown, <laughs> she'll give up whatever, like, whatever she won or whatever for everyone else. And then, remember the Titans, this is kind of middle little interlude, but attitude reflects leadership, if you've ever seen that. It's kind of an important line. 
And last thing, formal bosses, transactional leadership, which is like kind of crossover between servant and um, servant dictatorship kind of deal. I was one called Advocating for Residence. It was presented by George Washington University. And so basically at the program, they talked a lot about what is advocacy, what is its, what is its definition to you, and how are some different ways that you can actually advocate for your residence needs. And to keep it short, the four main ways that came up in discussion were that you can advocate through residence life, and that can be in your building on a large scale, whether that's large scale projects, you want better style living, you want to have different types of rooms coming together for next year, things like that, whether you You're not accidentally <laughs> which is really exciting because um, DC is obviously a really cool place to get to go, so um, future me will get to pay future them, or future you, to this conference. Best attention you've ever paid in your entire life for updates. So, starting off with the Z. We have a little bit of a strength list update, which we'll get to with Alyssa. Um, on my side of things, we are going to be sending out a feedback survey soon that's going to go out to all RHA members. There'll be little like pages like you will say you're a GB member and then you'll also get to give like GB feedback and committee feedback and things like that. Um, please fill it out. We will have rewards like if your entire council fills it out, you guys can get like a little Mitchell's party for your council and things like that. But don't be filling it out just because you want the ice cream. Fill it out because you want to make RHA the best it can be. Our working on our gender inclusive housing student survey. That will be going out soon. I know I've been saying that. Yeah. Over. Um, Strengths Quest, yay. How many of you have taken Strengths Quest before? A handful? Cool. Um, we're going to be doing for, to prepare for our winter retreat and to help our organization grow as a whole. Everyone that hasn't taken Strengths Quest will get a new code in the next few days. Um, take that before the week of December 1st. And then that week of December 1st, we're going to have three Strengths Quest 101 programs that you will be required to attend. So, one of three. You were uh, if you were required to attend one of three, right? Because they're the same program. And yeah, so keep an eye out. I'm working on finalizing the times and booking rooms for the Strengths Quest 101, so I'll send that out as soon as I have it. But just keep that on your in the back burner. Any comments from you? Are we doing this? Yeah, this is a committee and exactly. So. Um, an ID committee we worked on, team builders, we did some cool ones. And we are officially a go with all of our recognition efforts. And as well, uh, we talked about our last our last food forum of the semester, which is tomorrow at 6.30 in Lugner. I highly encourage you guys to come. Um, the chefs will be preparing a um, demonstration or a little activity, so please come. Uh, and then we also talked about feedback about the case housing page and what information we want to see and uh, just gave suggestions on that. And then finally, Skip graced us with his presence and led a discussion on what advocacy looks like. Okay, thank you all for those who have sent me photos of your ramen rush boxes and also who have posted on Facebook to advertise and all. Um, I'll be sending probably a very long and lengthy email out um, with the updated point system. I know I never got that out to you. I was waiting for all of the exact to kind of um, for me to get it together and then to get that to them, I apologize. Um, but with updated dates and times and all for the packing event as well as the point system so that we're all on the same page and you guys know where you stand. Um, expect that in the next day or two, please. Thank y'all. Um, and then in PR committee, we mainly talked about um, what we wanted to do for TSO. We have some things working on that. Um, and then we also uh, talked about council newsletters and finalized um, our thoughts on that. And so, um, if you haven't already heard from the PR chairs about Council Newsletters, it's, it's sort of a new thing. I know Ms. Wichel already does one. Um, but make sure, you talk, make sure you talk to your PR chairs about that after the Council Newsletters. Um, in partnering committee, we just um, worked on our LD presentation, which we're doing next week. Um, and then also just did that and had some feedback about it. Uh, the only thing from my end is um, Council Presidents. I'm going to be sending something to you as well. It's mostly going out to Secretaries and Treasurers, but it's just like a Cumulative, what have you been doing this semester? Do you need help with anything or feedback? So I'll be sending this to you as well if you have any, if you need to talk to Updates, we'll start with Magnolia. All right, so um, we have three events that are in the works right now. This upcoming Wednesday, we have, this Wednesday, we have uh, Magnolia Mornings. So for anybody, so all of us, basically. But you can come and get uh, hot chocolate and hot cider in the morning. And we're going to be doing that again, possibly with a little extra. We don't know yet. Um, we have Surprises from Mac. Anyone have any announcements? Mindy. Um, I've had a 
whatever. So um, we're part of like a larger organizational group on campus called the Student Executive Council. We will of the week. Who's got it? Congratulations to Rainer. This week's we will of the week. That's right. Why is it the best event? Bag serves you bacon. <laughs> I mean, Chris oh, boy, I might have to change my hat. <laughs> bacon with bags. Bacon with bags. That's right. Well, speaking of President Snyder, we get super excited for second semester because our first meeting of the year is going to be with Vice President Lou Stark and President Snyder. Whoa.